everyone! Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial! So today's video guys, we are going to tackle or discuss about animals according to the food they ate. Why we are going to discuss that animals according to the food they ate? It's just because we want to know them or what kind of animals they belong with. If we say herbivores, that means to say animals that they eat only plants or plant eaters. When we see it carnivores, they eat only flesh of animals or meat eaters. When we see it omnivores, that's animals that eat that they can eat both plants or animals. And we are belong to that family omnivores. Again, we are going to discuss today about the classification of animals according to the food they eat. Omnivores, herbivores, and carnivores. We are going to tackle each one by one so that we will know their functions and uses of each and how they interact to our environment regarding where they live. Not only animals with regards to their respective habitat or ecosystem, but we also human beings, we need to know where we belong and that particular groups. Whether we are herbivores, we are a carnivores, or an omnivorous. These classifications of animals according to the food they ate, it's very, what you call, an important matter. Once again, my dear viewers, welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. Good morning, class. Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to Ram's Tutorial. So today, class, we're going to discuss about animals' classifications according to the food they eat. Why we discuss about the animal's classification or classification of animals in order class to de identify them whether they belong to carnivores, omnivores, or herbivores. The first that we're going to discuss is carnivores. A carnivore's animals is what we call a meat eaters. Talking about meat eaters are animals that eat flesh only they used their sharp teeth and claws to get and tear the flesh of their prey okay killing their prey they're the predator that's a carnivores animals what are those examples of carnivores animals remember you know that carnivores Again, animals are animals that eat flesh only. Examples, we have lion, shark, predation means the relationship between the predator and its prey. Okay, that is predation. This is a relation between a predator and its prey. That is what you call a predation. Hunts or preys on smaller animals refers to a predator. Another class is what we call scavengers. Scavengers are animals that feed on dead or decaying animals. Examples of this is hyenas, vultures, and wolverines. Scavengers, predators, and predations are belong to carnivores. Actually, class, carnivores, they use the body parts to hunt their prey. Most carnivorous animals are predatory. Again, a predator hunts or preys on smaller animals. Predations refers to the relationship between the predator and its prey. There are also another animals or carnivores that do not hunt their prey. And what is this? Instead, they feed on the body of dead or decaying animals. This is what we call an scavenger. Scavengers, again, are animals that feed on dead or decaying animals. Examples, vulture, hyenas, and wolverines are examples for 
carnivorous. For example, for scavengers, animals that belong to carnivores or meat eaters, animals. Let's proceed to herbivores or herbivores. These are what we call the plant eaters. Herbivores, plant eaters, means that are animals that eat plants only. Okay? So, for example, the carabaos, like that. They use their well developed molar teeth to grind and chew their food. Why? Because their teeth is very flat and starting developing their molar teeth. Like for example, carabao, elephant, giraffe, horse, goat, lamb, and sheep. These are herbivores, my dear students. So what they have are well-developed molars to chew and grind their food thoroughly. Okay, that's the purpose of carnivores like elephant, herbivores, ladder, herbivores or herbivores, caraval and elephant, lamb and sheep. Okay, next is what we call another classification of animals according to the food they eat is omnivorous. Omnivorous class, meat and plant eaters. We belong here. Anim human being belong to meat and plant eaters, which is omnivorous. We are omnivorous or omnivores. Are animals that can eat both plants and meat of other animals. They have well-defined canine teeth for tearing meat and molars for chewing and crushing food okay that's why we as human beings we belong here because we can crush or grinding food to smaller pieces we can tear food to smaller pieces like that okay because our teeth are very canine examples the pigs turtle chicken and monkeys belongs to these classifications okay they belong here another classifications we are there belong also to am divorce okay we have the three divorce okay the three divorce class this is not another term this belong to omnivores the three divorce are animals that feed on small organic fragments or parts of dead or living organism because other students they say that the the retrievers is another term no this is not another term this is what we call under omnivores they are omnivores also animals but they usually what we call a preferred to eat or feed themselves on small organic fragments or parts of dead or living organisms so for examples just like what we called here in other part we have the carnivores we have also scavengers in omnivores we have the tritivores examples for the tritivores animals we have the ants with their students snails crabs and worms okay they are the tritivores because they usually what we call prefer themselves to feed smaller organic fragments okay or parts of dead or living organisms that's why again what are the three classifications of animals according to the food they eat omnivores meat and plant eaters remember my dear students next herbivores plant eaters carnivores meat eaters okay so now we are going to proceed to our exercises let's find it again if you can follow our discussion today regarding animal classifications according to the food they eat okay predations predator scavengers okay carnivores herbivores and omnivores meat and plant eaters here we go for our brain chalice let's try our best my dear students 
the first part for our branch challenge that don't forget to read the questions thoroughly and understand it our branch challenge we have group the following animals okay class we are going to group them okay to the food they eat so for example dog cat carabao elephant let's try first for the five first group dog belong to carnivores herbivores or omnivores okay you're done i'm going to write where dog belongs is okay here we go i am going to write it Here we go. Dog belong to omnivores. Why? Dog belongs to, they can eat both plants or animals. That is dog is. Next, cat. What about cat? Cat belongs to, go first. Okay, you're done. I'm going to write. Okay, so we have dog, cat, belong to omnivores. Next, carabao. We're going to put a mark. Carabao belongs to... Okay, you're done. I'm going to write herbivores. Why? Because carabao are plant eaters. Their teeth is flat. Carabao. Herbivores next elephant oh elephant is the largest animals elephants is the largest animals okay where do you belong elephant my dear students okay we're going to write here elephant okay carabao elephant belong to heavy voice next for a second we have spider, hyena, horse, and turtle. Spider, hyena, turtle, horse, and turtle rather. Number one, next is spider belongs to. Okay, you're done. I'm going to write. Spider belongs to carnivores. Next, okay, carnivores means meat eaters from the word carnivorous. Next, we have hyena. Okay, hyena belongs to what group, my dear students? Okay, we're going to write. Okay, belongs to carnivores. There are meat eaters. Next, we have horse. Horse belongs to. Where you go? Horse belongs to herbivores or herbivorous. Okay, next, turtle. Rice turtle belongs to belongs to omnivores turtle. We have turtle. Next group we have lion, frog, monkey, and shark. Okay. For lion class, first lion. Lion belongs to Carnivores. Okay, line belongs to carnivores. That is what we call meat eaters, major students. Next, frog. Remember, frog lays also egg. Okay. So where belong carnivores, herbivores, or omnivores? 
frog belongs to carnivores. Okay, they are meat eaters also. Next is monkey. Oh, the cute one, little monkey. So we're going to write here monkey. Okay, they are omnivores also. Next, shark. What is a shark chair? Okay, sharks is the dangerous one. So where do they belong? Carnivores, herbivores, or omnivores? Okay. Oh, really? Shark is carnivores. Remember, it eat flesh. Shark means. Next, cow. Big panda. First is cow. Sources of meat and sources of milk. Is that carnivorous, meat eaters, herbivores, plant eaters, omnivores, both plants and animals? Cow belongs to herbivores. Flat teeth. Okay. Cow. What about pig? Pig belongs to omnivores they eat both plants and animals what about panda you know what this panda is it's a cute right animals very entertaining animals also they belong to herbivores animals why they need to classify according to the food they belong or according to the food they eat? Carnivores, herbivores, omnivores. It's just because the food that they eat, they really actually speaks it louder who they are. They belong to carnivores, herbivores, or omnivores. It depends upon they actually eat, the food that they actually eat. That's why class we need to classify them according to the food they eat. That is the purpose for animal classifications and we should th say thanks for the scientists who made this or for the people who what called study about the classification of animals according to the food they eat. Just like us people or human beings also do this. Hope my dear viewers, students, you learn a lot for our video tutorial today about animals classification according to the food they eat. I hope you enjoyed it and you can classify at the end of our lesson the types of animals according to the food they eat. Again, carnivores, meat eaters, omnivores, both plants and animals eaters, herbivores, plant eaters. Okay? So don't forget about the predations and scavengers and the traitorvores. Our detritivores belong to omnivores and scavengers and predations belong to what we call carnivores. Okay, if you have any suggestions or comments, please write it down below for our comment suggestion box and don't forget to hit the bell button so that you're updated to our latest tutorial to Ron's educational channel. Hope to see you guys for my next videos. And so long class. Thank you for your time and spending your time again to Ram's Tutorial Educational. Thank you and God bless us and mabuhay.